Hey, first thing first, Sid, thank you so much for taking your time out and joining us on the Growth Mindset Podcast. It is a pleasure to have you here. Well, it's an absolute pleasure and I've been a fan of your podcast for quite a while and it's an exciting moment for me as well. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Thank you, Sid. Uh, I mean, before we dive into introduction, Sid, I want to ask first off one of the most important questions and something that our youth thinks, uh, which is people that talk in English, are they smarter than the ones that don't? Not really. Uh, I don't think that is the case. I think for a long time, I thought the same as well. Or I will give an example. In our school culture and university culture, there is a lot of things that you have to do. If you want to progress in your career, if you want to go forward, English is the way to go. And often you'll see people judging other people as well on their pronunciation. And that happens on social media a lot as well. And that puts a lot of hesitation. So I used to believe that as well. But I think the changing factor for me was watching Kumar Vishwas. Uh, he's one of the most proficient speakers. He's one of the most prominent speakers in our country. And he's only primarily in Hindi. Mein baat karte. So I don't think it is about speaking in English or in Hindi. I think it's about having that command over your language and having that confidence. So I don't think anyone who speaks English is smarter. I don't think anyone who speaks Hindi is smarter. Uh, I think anyone who has the right knowledge is smarter. So that's just my perspective on it. Yeah, interesting. I think this is the reason tha na, why I specifically ask you is because I know a lot of people do assume that if it's English, hai, to, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people that have perception that if it's English, I don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, it's good to kind of know English. But again, we should treat it as a language. Yes, if it's a language, if you know it, it's good. You can communicate globally. But other than that, I, I, I also particularly have the same opinion that just because you know English doesn't make you any smarter or you being better than others in, in any capacity. I will give an example de uh, because I have an experience of studying abroad, right? When I went to study in my class, one of the smartest people in my class, right, uh, were Japanese and Chinese people. And their English is not good at all. And they have no hesitation to share that. When they give a presentation, when they give an answer, their first sentence is that we English not good at all. After that, people want to listen to them intently. And that's just the global audience right there, right? That's your sample global audience. People have come to study from the world. But you still want to listen to what they have to say. A, because they're not ashamed of it. Uh, they don't have that hesitation. I've seen so many Indian people go there that just because they're not confident in their English speaking abilities, they feel like they will judge more Indian. And in this chakkar, they don't give answers. In the class, they also have the right answer, the right knowledge, but they don't give the answer. But you see these people from China and Japan, they're very proud of their culture, they're very proud of what they are able to present, because at the end of the day, knowledge matters. And the class listens to their answers, the professors listen to their presentations, and I think that is what made that change in me as well. Where I became more expressive in Hindi and English. Because what will happen? We will say it wrong. What is the problem? It's just a language. In fact, I don't even mind if someone corrects me. If they're coming from the right point of view. If someone has corrected me correctly, then I'm getting to learn something. What is the problem with this? True. So I think that's one of my experiences. Yeah. I think that's a very important point, Sid. Because, and there is also, if you see, you touch upon something which some people might not have even caught that was to do with Japanese people are comfortable with not knowing English and still they they are fine with communicating what they have in mind versus Absolutely. in India people like our crowd typically have that barrier and I think this is also a lot of the cultural as we were talking about that was that that is the reason why I asked that question okay maybe it's it's the it's the is the barrier that we've created within our minds okay if our language is not good people will I think and this is not something that is happening in Japan. Japan people are happy to communicate because they're fine with being laughed at, but they at least are communicating what is right. I think talking Absolutely. is more important than we being uh, behind and not communicating what we have on our minds. And this is very important. Why? Because also I had someone uh, said last episode and he's actually someone who, who trains people on how to speak English. He has a quite a good right. world. And he said one thing which really struck me. He said, if you want to English, English or any other language, if you really want to grow, first thing is start speaking in it. 
क्योंकि इंग्लिश लिखना तो हर स्कूल में हर कोई सिखाई रहा है ना यहाँ पे हम लोग लेटर्स लिखते हैं वो डायरी एंट्री करते हैं इंग्लिश के अंदर जो सबका कॉमन होता है एनसीआर uh, में हम लोग हमारा मोस्टली इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग होता है तो हमें जब हम कोई सेंटेंस बोल देते हैं हमें समझ आ जाता है कि हमने गलती कर दी लेकिन जब तक बोलेंगे नहीं तब तक हम उस चीज को इम्प्रूव कर नहीं पाएंगे सो आई थिंक इट इज दैट फियर ऑफ जजमेंट दैट स्टिग्मा के गलत बोल दिया तो लोग जज करेंगे और लोग करते भी हैं ऐसी बात नहीं है कि इंडिया में जज नहीं करते हैं uh, एक एक जोक uh, मेरे को आई डोट नो हाउल कम आउट बट एक जोक मेरे को बाहर किसी ने बोला था कि दैट Uh, when you're studying abroad, right? Like that fear of judgment that I had. That no one judges an Indian more than the other Indian who's already been there. <laughs> <laughs> so that is something uh, that I'm actually experienced. Kill कर देते हैं हर जगह जाके. हाँ 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 बिल्कुल यार इतना judgment है इतना आपस में compete compete करने में लगे हैं. बाकी मैंने मतलब I don't know. I don't want to sound very bashing to our own culture because uh, we are who we are because of this culture only. Like there's a lot of positives, but the negative side is that we go there and we don't help each other. We compete against 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 each other. you know it's very difficult to gel up with people of the same like even in between indian to indians i've seen people getting comfortable with people of other nation not necessarily let's say agar aap us ja rahe ho canada ja rahe ho ya australia ja rahe ho wahan ke local ke sath milna thoda mushkil hota because there are some barriers but you can communicate well with other countries ke jo jinko bhi because they are also they have come in from a different country एक एक सिमिलैरिटी ग्राउंड रहता है इट्स ईजियर टू कनेक्ट यू बीन इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू यू हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड कि अगर कोई बंदा ऑस्ट्रेलिया जा रहा हो लेट्स से राइट दे आर प्लानिंग टू काइंड ऑफ सेटल अब्रॉड व्हाट अकॉर्डिंग टू यू डू यू थिंक दे शुड कीप इन माइंड व्हेन दे आर गोइंग अब्रॉड प्रोबेबली फॉर वर्क और स्टडिंग वेल आई वुड से बी ओपन टू न्यू एक्सपीरियंसेस आई थिंक दैट्स नंबर 1 be open to learn to learning like aur ye jo aapne bola na ki yaar bahar mingle nahi kar pate hain fir other countries ke sath practical experience bata raha hu apna bahar bahut comfortable hota hai when you find people from your own culture to mingle with them because you are in a new place you don't know anyone uh, people are not talking in your own mother tongue so if you find someone who's coming from that same experience same background it's easier for you to gel with them right because wo bhi usi cheez se ja rahe hain so मैंने क्या ट्राई किया आई ट्राई टू ऑब्वियसली ओपन माई सेल्फ टू अदर पीपल एज वेल के हाँ ये तो है ही आई आई ट्राई टू ओपन अप टू अदर पीपल एज वेल बिकॉज आई फाउंड दिस सेम लेवल ऑफ रिजिडिटी बिटवीन डेम कि यार मेरे को भी ऐसा लगा कि यार वो लोग हमें इग्नोर कर रहे हैं तो मैंने लेकिन जब जाके बात करी मैंने ओपन अप किया मैंने कहा यार आप लाइक वाई डिज आई ट्राई एंड इग्नोर सो दे से नो वी आर स्केर ऑफ देम बिकॉज दे ऑलवेज स्टे इन देर ओन ग्रुप डू यू सी द मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैर वो कह रहे नहीं वी आर ऑल्सो ओपन टू लर्निंग वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट न्यू कल्चर वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट न्यू बैकग्राउंड बट वो लोग अपने में ही रहते हैं तो हमें डर लगता है कि हम कैसे अप्रोच करें एंड वेन आई वॉज एबल टू ऑब्वियसली ब्रेक थ्रू दैट बैरियर आई रियलाइज की हाँ लाइक इट इट्स ह्यूमन नेचर रिमेन्स द सेम नो मैटर वे यू गो सो आई थिंक वी वी नीड टू स्टॉप अंडर एस्टिमेटिंग आर सेल्स वी नीड टू प्ले ऑन आर स्ट्रेंथ बी ओपन टू लर्निंग बी ओपन टू ग्रोइंग आई थिंक नई कंट्री में आप जब कहीं जाते हो यहाँ से बहुत सारे ड्रीम्स होते हैं एस्पिरेशंस होते हैं जैसे ट्वेल्थ जब आप करके स्कूल से निकलते हो यहाँ पे इंडिया में स्कूल डजेंट प्रिपेयर यू फॉर कॉलेज कॉलेज में जाके एक नई आंखें खुलती है नई एक्सपीरियंसेस होते हैं सिमिलरली वेन यू आर गोइंग आउटसाइड फॉर स्टडिंग यू आर नॉट रेडी फॉर दैट एक्सपीरियंस यहाँ से सिर्फ आपको अच्छी अच्छी बातें दिखती हैं आपको आपकी नॉलेज क्या या तो आपकी जो एजुकेशन एजेंसीज है जिनका बिजनेस है आपको वहां भेजना तो वो तो आपको बेस्ट चीजें बताएंगी जो बेस्ट पॉसिबल चीजें वो होती हैं सेकंड इज योर सोशल मीडिया एंड वी ऑल नो हाउ रियल एंड जेनुअन सोशल मीडिया इज कोई भी सोशल मीडिया पे ये तो बताता नहीं है कि यार 
लाइफ में बहुत डिफिकल्टीज आ रही है लाइफ में बहुत प्रॉब्लम आ रही है हर कोई दिखाते नहीं इट्स ऑल फन इट्स ऑल ग्रेट यू शुड ऑब्वियसली एंड हम उन चीजों से इन्फ्लुएंस होकर कई बार वी प्लान दैट सो आई थिंक बी रेडी फॉर दैट शॉक बिकॉज इट इज नॉट सिंपल यू एल यू विल हैव टू वर्क ट्वाइस एज हार्ड बिकॉज देर इज नो सेफ्टी नेट इंडिया में आपके पास ऑब्वियसली यू हैव अ क्लोज नेट फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली यू हैव दैट सेफ्टी नेट टू कैच यू बट वहां पर हर प्रॉब्लम बीट फिजिकल बीट मेंटल यू विल हैव टू फेस इट योर सेल्फ मेरे लिए बहुत पहला ही एक्सपीरियंस था मेरा वहां पर जाते ही आई थिंक इट वॉज टू मंथ्स इन टू मीविंग एंड रोलिंग इन टू यूनिवर्सिटी और मेरा एंकल ट्विस्ट हो गया था कहीं मैं भाग रहा था रनिंग पे गया था और मेरा एंकल ट्विस्ट हुआ एंड ऑब्वियसली आई हैड नो वन टू रिलाय ऑन मेरे को खुद ही हॉस्पिटल जाना पड़ा खुद ही ऑब्वियसली हैड टू गो थ्रू दैट मेडिकल एक्सपीरियंस ऑन माई ओन दे गेव मी स्टिल्स टू वॉक ऑन एंड आई केम बैक वॉकिंग ऑन माई स्टिल्स आई हैड टू ऑब्वियसली डू माई ओन ट्रीटमेंट माई प्रिपेरेशन घर में क्या होता है कि मम्मी को याद रहता है पापा को याद रहता है फ्रेंड्स को याद रहता है वो हेल्प कर देते नहीं कि और यूजुअली घर वाले की अब ये दवाई का टाइम हो गया अब आइसिंग का टाइम हो गया तो ये छोटी छोटी चीजें जो होती हैं ये आपको बाहर जाके पता चलती है दैट यू आर ट्रूली ऑन योर ओन या ऑब्वियसली यू विल मेक फ्रेंड्स यू यू इफ यू आर लकी इनफ यू एंड अप मेकिंग अ फैमिली इज वेल बट इनिशियली यू हैव टू गो थ्रू दैट शॉक बाई सेल्फ एंड यू हैव टू बी वेरी मेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग बिकॉज आई हैव सीन पीपल डिसइंटीग्रेट ड्यू टू दैट शॉक सो I think that's uh, pretty much sums it up of your first experience. <laughs> interesting, interesting, and I think it's very important. You've touched upon some very important pointers when someone actually is going abroad, right? Settling, like which is, you know, तुम अपने like you're all alone. जो भी figure out करना है, you have to do it by yourself. यहाँ पे सब बोलते ना कि खाना घर पे table पे लाके दे रहे हैं, हाथ में बच्चे माँ हाथ से खिला रही है, but when you go outside you know all of that goes out the window and then you have you actually realize what real world is all about it's all about you surviving out there and then you, and i think it's also very important what i particularly think is agar kisi ko abroad jana ho na i think they should first just travel for at least a month or so this is something that i felt alone okay not with friends that will give you a good perspective of what life is and you'll also know ke bhai are you made up for something like that or not i know a lot of people that go and then regret going there and they come back after a few years because they jaise aap jaise you said right ki unhone instagram pe kuch dekh liya kuch log kuch log ne kuch keh diya ki wahan ki city hai achhi hai ye country achhi hai and they just got excited and they just went and then they realized ki bhai ye mere this is not my cup of tea right so something i think maybe travel is something that probably could help people really evaluate Before and it's not only about traveling abroad it's i think primarily about you being comfortable by being yourself i think that is a realization that should uh, come within you bahar jaane se pehle ek mahina akele rehna zaruri hai ek do mahina ki aap khud ko manage kar pate ho uh, are you able to handle your handle your own thoughts are you able to handle your own surroundings are you able to uh, mentally accept that kind of responsibility so i think that is what something that might prepare you uh, for that shock uh, that you'll go through because exactly. hota hai it is har ek ke sath wo initial shock it is impossible ke kisi ko wo na aaye true true so you help me understand sirabi agar okay before we dive further uh, i know we have covered a couple of ground kafi ground cover kiya hum logo ne Uh, for people that might be wondering, okay, uh, Irshad, क्या बात कर रहा है? Sid, क्या बात कर रहे हैं? Like, would you like to first go ahead and also now introduce, like, quickly around who Sid is, where you're from, what you're currently doing? Sure. Uh, I think I'll go it in a chronological order, and I think that that will help sure. <laughs> uh, to understand what I've done. <laughs> so obviously, I've done my schooling from New Delhi. Uh, सरदार पटेल दिल्ली का एक काफी नॉन स्कूल है वहां से मैंने अपनी ट्वेल्थ कंप्लीट करी है अ वेव टू ऑल द पटेलियंस सो दिस इज अ पटेलियन वेव इफ इफ देयर इज एनी पटेलियंस वाचिंग दैट्स हाउ वी से हेलो टू ईच अदर सो देयर इज दैट उसके साथ-साथ आई वाज हेवीली इन्वॉल्वड इन स्पोर्ट्स मैंने स्क्वैश नेशनल और इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे खेला आई रिप्रेजेंटेड माय कंट्री इन स्क्वैश इन द जूनियर सर्किट वाओ Uh, उसके बाद ऑब्वियसली आई वाज लकी इनफ टू गेट सम गुड मार्क्स इन माय क्लास ट्वेल्थ अच्छे बच्चे की तरह पढ़ाई करी मैंने <laughs> क्योंकि जैसे हर पेरेंट बोलता है कि बेटा बस ट्वेल्थ में पढ़ लो उसके बाद ऐश है सो आई जेनुअनली बिलीव दैट आई फेल इन टू दैट ट्रैप 
<laughs> तो मैंने अच्छे बच्चे की तरह ट्वेल्थ में पढ़ाई करी एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई गॉट एडमिशन इन डेली यूनिवर्सिटी इन हंसराज कॉलेज उसमें शाहरुख खान तक का भी काफी इन्फ्लुएंस था बिकॉज आई वॉज एबल टू गेट इन टू हिंदू एंड हंसराज आई थिंक द कट ऑफ फैक्टर वॉज के शाहरुख हंसराज गया तो शायद मैं भी कुछ बन जाऊंगा ट्वेल्थ के बाद क्या ही डेटा पॉइंट होते हैं आपके पास नहीं अब इससे बड़ा इन्फ्लुएंस क्या ही हो सकता है सो ऑब्वियसली सो आई आई डिड माई बैचलर्स इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर मैंने इंग्लिश में ऑनर्स किया फ्रॉम हंसराज उसके बाद आई वॉन्टेड टू ऑब्वियसली ग्रो माई होराइजन और फॉर माई मास्टर्स आई डिसाइडेड टू स्टडी इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड आई डिड माई मास्टर्स इन इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन एंड पॉलिसी मेकिंग ऑल्सो स्पेशलाइज इन स्पेशलाइजिंग इन इकोनॉमिक्स एंड ट्रेड फ्रॉम मोनाश यूनिवर्सिटी इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया विच इज अ ग्लोबल टॉप फिफ्टी रैंकिंग यूनिवर्सिटी यू कैन जस्ट लुक इट अप Uh, और मेरा मास्टर्स का एक्सपीरियंस थोड़ा सा यूनिक आई थिंक जो मेरी एज के हैं उनके उनके साथ साथ भी जो एजुकेशन कर रहे थे कि बाय द टाइम आई फिनिश माय मास्टर्स कोविड आ गया एंड वी सॉ सम सीरीज ऑफ सीरियस लॉकडाउन्स तो जो जॉब मार्केट ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल था वो रिसीड ओके और छोटा हो गया देर वर वेरी लिमिटेड अपॉर्चुनिटीज Uh, and i saw a lot of people just deciding to go back at that time uh, but i just wanted to give it a shot uh, i think there was a lot of support from my parents as well in terms of uh, giving it my best because i didn't want to regret that was the idea like my my, my biggest uh, ik i think is to regret later uh, for lack of be- better words to mere ko tha ki yaar kuch na kuch try karu zarur karke jaunga so australia mein ek स्टेट है जिसका लोगों ने सो आई वॉज इन मेलबर्न ओरिजिनली राइट विच इज अ मेट्रोपोलिटन ऑस्ट्रेलिया में एक स्टेट है नॉर्दर्न टेरिटरी नॉर्दर्न टेरिटरी का एक रिमोट टाउन है कैथरन विच हैज पॉपुलेशन ऑफ लेस देन नाइन थाउजेंड पीपल आई फाउंड अ जॉब देर सो आई ट्रेवल देर और बहुत मेरे वहां पे जितने फ्रेंड्स थे उन्होंने बोला कि दैट इज लाइक आउट बैक ऑस्ट्रेलिया आई यू श्योर यू वॉन्ट टू experience that <laughs> so main to nahi yaar koi baat nahi ho jayega wahan but i realized once i started living in catherine what uh, outback australia is i'll i'll come back to that i'll circle back to that okay. so i started from a very normal job uh, i started from like a very normal sales job from that i shifted to real estate uh, and while i was working in real estate i got the opportunity i was lucky enough to get my permanent residency in australia uh after i secured my permanent residency then i got the opportunity to work in the australian government so my the last position that i held uh was working in the australian state government of northern territory with the chief minister of northern territory as a cabinet and officer uh, cabinet and secretariat officer so nice. that was sort of the journey that i took uh you know as they say if it, it's all well if it ends well <laughs> so when i look back obviously the struggle looks very nice that i went through it uh, but ha jab wo chal raha tha tab there was a lot of ups and downs yeah yeah so i think that's that's me in a nutshell nice nice i think uh, one of the key takeaways said yahan pe jo hai na because i know a lot of friends i i i have a lot of friends basically that i've settled in a lot of different countries uh, people that i know every single one of them had crazy struggle so agar if there is anyone who's listening to us right now watching us probably on youtube or any other medium mm-hmm. uh, and if you're evaluating uh, getting into uh, or going abroad rest assured know that you are going to struggle you are going to have very tough times at least for a few for a first few years my friend i know uh, i'm not going to name him but uh, he told me what happened with him so when he went actually to australia uh, and he told me irshad mere situation aise kharab ho gaye the ki main uh, एक मंदिर था मैं मंदिर में जाके खाना खाया करता था बिकॉज आई डिट नॉट है प्लेस टू स्टे एंड अ प्लेस टू ईट सो एटलीस्ट मंदिर और गुरुद्वारे में आई थिंक दे यूज टू गिव हिम फूड सो यूज टू स्टे देर फॉर सम टाइम दैट हैपन फॉर आई थिंक फॉर अ फ्यू फर्स्ट फ्यू डेज वेन ही वेंट टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया दैट्स वैन दैट हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ सम इश्यूज दो तीन साल स्ट्रगल किया बट नाउ इवन ही इज गॉट अ परमानेंट रेसिडेंसी इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया ही हैज अ गुड जॉब ही हैज अज ओन स्टार्टअप आई मीन विच इज नाइस आई मीन इनिशियली आई थिंक एवरी सिंगल वन ऑफ यू हुज इवेलुएटिंग know that you're going to struggle like anything and uh, if you're ready for that struggle i think then as you mentioned no ja when you look back every that struggle also would seem nice it will also look good 
um not only is there back, a struggle to, sorry this is just a little addition there not no, only is it a struggle uh, there is also like and it is the harsh reality is going to be no sympathy for your struggle kyunki kisi ko bhi agar aap bolte ho agar aap social media pe bhi bolte ho ki main struggle se ja raha hu ek hi comment aata hai ek hi jawab aata hai agar itna hi difficult tha to gaye kyun the सबसे पहला जवाब यह जाता है सो देर इज गोइंग टू बी नो सिंपथी फॉर योर स्ट्रगल व्हाट्स एवर ओनली इफ यू हैव अ सक्सेस स्टोरी इन द एंड टू टेल यू कैन होप टू इंस्पायर अ फ्यू पीपल बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे व्हेन यू आर गोइंग थ्रू दैट स्ट्रगल रियलाइज दैट यू विल हैव टू गो थ्रू इट बाय योरसेल्फ सो आई थिंक दैट आई थिंक एनहांसेस द स्ट्रगल दैट यू आर गोइंग थ्रू बिकॉज़ इट्स नॉट ओनली द मोमेंट बट आल्सो यू आर रीलिविंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन इन योर माइंड एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली नाउ going back to one of the statements you made uh, said was uh, living in the outskirts right the northern area of australia help, help me understand what exactly happened there uh, give Catherine. us some story so that people can understand so what did you learn so if yeah if people are listening mai ek choti si activity unke liye bolunga ke just google catherine australia and go to the images section uh usme aapko नेचर okay. दिखेगा वाइल्ड लाइफ दिखेगी यू सी फॉरेस्ट सब कुछ दिखेगा इंसान नहीं दिखेंगे <laughs> तो, तो अब ये जो नेचर uh, है ब्यूटी है इट लास्ट फॉर अबाउट अ मंथ एंड हाफ इफ यूर अ टूरिस्ट वेन यू आर देयर टू लिव परमानेंटली मैं एक एग्जांपल इसका मैं देता हूं तो आई हैड अ पेट डॉग इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया तो रात के अराउंड छह साढ़े छह होंगे एंड द डॉग स्टार्टेड बाकिंग एट अ ट्री विच इज इन माई बैक यार्ड राइट मैं गया मैंने कहा वॉट इज दाकिंग एट एंड आई सॉ दिस स्नेक अज स्नेक रैप्ड अराउंड दैट ट्री एंड द फेस लिटरली फेसिंग मी ठीक है अब आई नो दर इज अटीरियो टाइप विद इंडियन एंड स्नेक्स आई जस्ट डोंट फिट दैट स्टीरियो टाइप मैंने सांप नहीं देखा था ऐसे वायरल देखा so i i called the i called the snake catcher what would you do this was a sunday evening i called i called the snake catcher right and the snake catcher asked me ke what kind of a snake it is maine kaha yaar bada hai aur it's 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 green and big <laughs> what else do you want me to tell you so he said no if it's a non venomous snake i'm not going to make the trip so you go back and tell me the features of this snake अब मैं वापस गया मैं वापस गया ऑब्वियसली एंड द स्नेक वाज ऑब्वियसली स्टिल देयर सो आई डिस्क्राइब द स्नेक एंड द फीचर्स ऑन द फोन एंड इट टोल्ड मी अरे इट्स जस्ट अ ट्री पाइथन जस्ट रैप इट अराउंड योर आर्म एंड चक इट आउटसाइड ओह माय गॉड मेरे को मैंने कहा यार ये ये तो क्या हो गया मैं मतलब डिस्कवरी चैनल की डॉक्यूमेंट्री ज्वाइन कर ली क्या हो गया एकदम से सो I started panicking, ठीक है एंड लकीली माई नेबर वॉज वॉचिंग एंड शी सेट वॉट इज इट सो आई सेट दिज अक और शी वॉज अ लोकल राइट सो आई सेट दिज अ स्नेक एंड शी सेट वो काइंड आई सेट अपेरेंटली इट्स अ ट्री पाइथन एंड शी सेट ओ इट्स अ ट्री पाइथन शी सेट आई हेल्प यू आउट सो आई थॉट वो शी विल कम एंड हेल्प मी आउट शी सेंट हर फोर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड सन हु वॉज इट वेरिंग एनी स्लीपर्स हु इज जस्ट वेरिंग कट स्लीव टी शर्ट एंड शॉर्ट्स He brought like a small stick. उसने उस स्नेक को स्टिक पे ऐसे लपेटा और उठा के बाहर फेंक दिया एंड लाइक यहां पर सभी टार्जन है क्या मतलब <laughs> चल क्या रहा है फिर आई आई स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग टू देम ये ये छोटे छोटे शॉक जो आते हैं ना आई स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग टू देम आई सेट शी सेट डोनो इट्स नॉट स्नेक यू नीट टू बी अफ्रेड ऑफ इट्स स्पाइडर्स I said, "What do you mean, it's spiders?" They said, "So there's apparently this, uh, what, what, what? Yeah, it, this red-back spider that hides inside the toilets of Northern Territory, and if it bites yeah. you, the venom is deadly, and there's no anti-venom for that." So I said, "Go to the bathroom. It's very difficult to go to the bathroom. My, my ritual is to go to the bathroom. I used to dust everything around. So these small experiences. One more small incident that happened with me." Uh, एक नेचुरल वाटरफॉल था एंड द वाटरफॉल सेड सेफ टू स्विम देर वॉज अ बोट 
इट्स सेफ टू स्विम देर अ पूल राइट अंडर द वॉटरफॉल काफी ट्रैक करके ऊपर तक गए थे मैं भी वो था ना कि मैं भी बेयर ड्रिल्स मैन वर्सेज वाइल्ड था मैं भी <laughs> दिखाऊंगा अपनी एडवेंचर स्पिरिट द वे फेर इन मी इज गोइंग टू शो वॉट आर मेड ऑफ लिटल डिड आई नो वेन द रियालिटी हिट तो उसमें क्या हुआ कि इट्स एट सेफ टू स्विम एंड आई सो क्वाइट अ फ्यू पीपल स्विमिंग तो आई वेंट इन टू द स्विमिंग एरिया ऐसे ठीक है कर लेते हैं एंड आई फेल्ट लाइक आई सॉ समथिंग मूव इन द वॉटर विच इज नॉट नॉर्मल एंड सो देर वॉज देर वॉज समन नेक्स्ट टू मी एंड आई सेट देर इज नो वाइल्ड लाइफ इन द वॉटर एंड देर इज नो क्रॉकोडाइल्स इज एंड नो 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 देर इज नो सॉल्ट वॉटर क्रॉकोडाइल्स I said, "What do you mean? There's no salt water crocodiles?" They said, "Oh, there's only fresh water crocodiles, but they probably won't harm you." I was like, <laughs> "What are you talking about?" They said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're afraid of uh, humans. They won't harm you. There's quite a few around." And I lost it. I got panic in the water, panic attack. Ho gaya. So I started swimming, and they said, "No, no, stop. If you splash around, you'll attract them." I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is true." बीच में आके बता रहे हो सो आई आई मेड अ रूल के ऑस्ट्रेलिया में टॉयलेट जाना है तो सब देख के जाना है अंधेरे में कहीं बाहर नहीं निकलना मैं किसी वाटर बॉडी में नहीं जाऊंगा नेचुरल वाटर बॉडी फ्रॉम वर्क टू होम फ्रॉम होम टू वर्क सो दैट वाज जस्ट लाइक अ स्मॉल हाईलाइट व्हिच इज एन एनेकडोट नाउ बट इमेजिन द पैनिक दैट आई वेंट थ्रू व्हेन आई रियलाइज दैट आई एम स्विमिंग इन क्रॉक इंफेस्टेड वाटर एग्जैक्टली आई मीन दैट्स क्रेजी I I mean I've never come across obviously for Indians हम लोग के लिए अगर थोड़ा सा भी हम लोग देख लें सांप तो भागेंगे like we don't even care if it's venomous यार घर में everything is venomous कली से डर लगता है इरशाद सांप तो exactly but उसका एक plus side ही हुआ जब मैं India में वापस आया ना देखो हर experience से कुछ होता है so मैं जब India में वापस आया there was actually a lizard that was in our home and my mom was obviously flustered कि घर में छिपकली आ गई तो मैंने कहा ठीक है मैं पकड़ के फेंक देता हूँ कहती छिपकली पकड़ के फेंक देगा मैंने कहा अब छिपकली तो है सो व्हेन यू हैव गोन थ्रू दैट लेवल हां द लिजर्ड डजंट स्केयर यू एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली इंटरेस्टिंग अम देयर आर कपल ऑफ थिंग्स से दैट आई आल्सो वांटेड टू टॉक टू एंड दिस वाज मोर इन लाइन विद आवर यूथ बिकॉज़ आई नो यू क्रिएट अ लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट फॉर आवर यूथ सो आई थॉट यू नो वी शुड आल्सो टच अपॉन समथिंग व्हिच इज Which is critical to the youth as well. Uh, hmm. And my mind, what is going on is the social media, right? Hmm. So you are an influencer already. Help us understand what do you think is the power of social media to the youth? Is this helping them? Is it not? If it's not helping them, what should they do? Well, I think the big thing about social media is it. It's that it's a. I, I'd say it's your own weapon, right? in the right hands it's the greatest thing that's ever been invented but in the wrong hands it can be used to cause destruction at the same time social media ne maine dekha hai kuch aise movements le kiya hai that has united people from across the globe aur social media pe kuch aise movements bhi chale that has divided people and polarized people to no extent hai na so i think it is about how you decide to use and consume that content or usi mein obviously i'm trying to put out all the positivity all the motivation that i think i needed right like it it comes from a position of you wanting something yourself like so i thought ki main jab apne struggle se nikal raha tha main jab uh, us us phase se nikal raha tha what would i like to listen to what is something that would have helped me out so i research on that and i try to put that out through my social media channel mm. uh secondly i think one of one of the other experiences and this is not related to social media mere liye jo influence ka uh, uh, factor jahan pe joda uh, i had a very good opportunity in australia that i worked in this place called uh, center for multicultural youth right so they had children from the ages of 16 to 24 uh, from refugee and migrant backgrounds who had gone through some serious uh, serious issues you want to call them or serious difficulties in life right like a lot of them came from like uh, like like these war torn countries right 
and our job was to help them out to go through that cultural shock and help that and help to alleviate that trauma right and us time pe i realized that just putting your own positivity out like obviously there were techniques there were there were actual techniques that we were taught and then we were teaching them as well but at the end of the day it was just about listening to them and then giving them the right motivation and right positivity that made all the change so i thought if i can do it in this small sample that i have what if i use my social media and i expand my audience because it's impossible to reach everyone right aisa to nahi hai ki mera content sabko pasand aayega it is impossible i can't make a universally appealing content uh, there will be a lot of people who might not resonate with it there will be a lot of people who don't want to frankly listen to it as well but that few people who are actually impacted by it because my, i know my experience is not unique ha huh. mera ek ya do anecdotes unique ho sakta hai but struggle to human struggle to sabka same hi hai na so if this is something that helped me if i am able to put that out and it helps a few people out there what's better than that and i think that is the idea that led to the creation of my page i think that's a very noble idea that you started with like the your intention was very right uh, you wanted to have a positive impact and i i can see that in your content right because one of the reels that attracted me to your profile said was uh, you talking about the ambani wedding and how people were uh, talking about the divorce section of it and then you said right. why are you why are you like they've just gotten married and now you're saying itna paisa bar paisa dala hai aur divorce ho jayega inka then like look at the like you've got a very important nerve wahan pe ke na hum log like why are we not getting happy because someone is doing something hum log galat kyun soch rahe wo kisi ke liye kuch bura kyun soch raha like do what you can do with the best of your ability and as you said social media is exactly precisely on how someone uses it i i i also use the same analogy right saying ke bhai it, it's more like a a knife you can if it's in the hands of a cook they will use it for cooking which is obviously great stuff but similarly the same knife goes into hands of let's say a robber or a thief it could be used for other means right so it's all basically on us so like even social i think even youngsters cannot make an excuse today saying ki bhai social media mein pura negativity hai aisa nahi hai social media mein positive bhi hai it's just that probably you are following the wrong people probably you are following wrong content that is why the algorithm gives you that similar type of content uh, so you help me understand you mentioned briefly ki you were helping in australia people that had trauma jin log ko kuch trauma tha and then you help them overcome that trauma right let's probably touch upon that i mean i know a, a lot of our youth also have lot of issues uh, right i know a lot reach out to me saying they have issues they have depression even though they might not even have it i mean that's a different topic mm. altogether but we'll get to it mm. uh and there are people that have go- going through breakups uh, they think their world is collapsing so when people are going through their some tough time or they think they are being traumatic having traumatic experiences what can they do i think the first step is to not to brave it out uh, india mein ek ye false idea hai ke agar aap sab cheezon ko sehte rahoge uh, if you bottle them down it will eventually get better but i think at some stage it explodes like a volcano no matter what you do i think the first thing you have to do is process it you have to see what the reality is of that situation understand that you will feel that pain denial of pain is also a kind of mental health issue right agar mere ko chot lagi hai aur main bol hi nahi raha hu ki main accept hi nahi kar raha hu mujhe chot nahi lagi तो मैं उसका कभी इलाज शुरू ही नहीं कर पाऊंगा है ना चाहे अपने लेवल पे ही स्टार्ट करो आई एम नॉट सेइंग इमीडिएटली गो टू अ थेरेपिस्ट इमीडिएटली गो टू अ साइकोलॉजिस्ट बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ एंड आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट इट्स अ बैड थिंग इफ यू डू बट आई नो देयर स्टिल अ बिग स्टिग्मा देयर स्टिल अ बिग टैबू अटैच टू दैट आई एम सेइंग नहीं भी करना है अपने अंदर बी बी ट्रू टू योरसेल्फ राइट एक्सेप्ट दैट दिस पेन इज हैपनिंग टू मी एंड प्रोसेस दैट पेन फील इट फील दैट इमोशन पे रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट इमोशन and only when you pay respect to that emotion will you be able to truly look forward hota kya hai ki hum kya karte hain din mein sochte hain ki hum dhyan hi denge is cheez pe lekin kabhi na kabhi to aap apne thoughts ke sath akele hoge na hamara mind us cheez ko bhulne nahi deta hai 
वो चीजें वापस रिप्ले होती रहती हैं एंड फॉर फॉर दैट लाइक फॉर दैट मोमेंट इट माइट नॉट बी रियल बट फॉर योर माइंड इट्स एब्सोल्युटली रियल राइट बिकॉज यूर फॉर योर माइंड दैट पेन यू हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू इट यू हैव नॉट प्रोसेस इट यू हैव नॉट रियलाइज इट सो यू आर रीलिविंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन सो आई थिंक द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज एक्सेप्टिंग इट कि हाँ मैं नहीं हूं कोई माचो मैन आई आई डोंट हैव दिस आइडिया ऑफ दिस फसार्ड ऑफ मैस्क्यूलिटी इन मी हो रहा है मुझे दर्द है मुझे प्रॉब्लम ये है फर्स्ट स्टेप देन वुड बी योर सेकेंड स्टेप दैट वुड बी रीचिंग आउट बिकॉज हमारे सर्कल में कोई तीन लोग तो हमेशा ऐसे होते हैं एंड इट कुड बी एनी वन फ्रेंड्स फैमिली एनी वन दैट योर थ्री बेस्ट कॉन्फिडेंट उनको जाके बोलना यार एक्चुअली यू नो वॉट आई एम गोइंग थ्रू दिस पेन बिकॉज दैट विल यू विल फील दैट वंस यू सेड इट आउट लाउड उनकी तो हेल्प बाद में आएगी बट वंस यू सेड इट आउट लाउड यू रियलाइज कि आपका दिमाग ऑटोमेटिकली उस चीज को हील करना शुरू कर देगा अगर आप अपने ब्रेन में इस बैटल को लगातार कॉन्स्टेंटली चालू रखोगे कि आप एक तरफ तो समझा रहे हो नो इट्स नॉट रियल दूसरी तरफ आपका ब्रेन उसको बार बार रिप्ले भी कर रहा है यू विल कीप ऑन बैटलिंग विद इन योर सेल्फ योर ब्रेन योर ब्रेन इज केपेबल ऑफ हीलिंग इट सेल्फ वेरी वेल लाइक वी हैव इवॉल्व इन टू दैट लेवल ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस नाउ बट दी आइडिया इज टू एक्सेप्ट इट so i think by me talking about it like i think that's what i do by me talking about it by putting that vulnerability out on my social media channel i think i'm making it more and more real for other people to know ke ha aisa hota hai you're not alone in this sabke sath ho raha hai aage bhi hoga aisa nahi hai ki ek bari ho gaya dobara nahi hoga aage bhi hoga but when you learn to accept that within yourself i think you'll have better tools to face it next time at at least at least that's what i believe love it love it i think that's very important i think the most important point what you've mentioned said there was accepting that fact of you know that yeah you are going to that pain i think denial is very right most of the times we deny it but our minds as research says right ki our mind cannot differentiate between what is real and what is imaginary uh, it just will consider whatever is there inside your brain as the reality so if you're going through something it is important for us to recognize that accept it go through that pain and then obviously things will thing things will go back and you, what you just mentioned right said is precisely what one of the person so when you were talking about this one of the person that i had interviewed on my podcast uh, re- rang a bell right so i had a, a person called as amit paregar so he right. also puts a lot of content out for self help awareness uh, healing through traumas he was he said the precisely the same thing like feel your pain go through that pain let that pain complete let let it take its course so that it finds the end result because once when you reach that end result is when it would dissipate and then time will heal, eventually heal that absolutely absolutely nice. i think i think being vulnerable to your own emotion is the best thing you can do for your own emotional intelligence hmm exactly what are your thoughts on depression said i mean people that are watching uh, consuming social media there are a lot of studies that actually indicate uh people that consume a lot of social media are are more prone to depression these days especially the the kids and youngsters that are on the social media platform because obviously they are more prone to bullying people finding you online so you've exposed yourself to billions of people out there now everyone has opinions right so what according to you the reason i'm asking you precisely said is because you are an influencer you even though you are putting out good content there are always people that will say bhai kya 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 kar rahe ho tum kya bak rahe ho kya faltu giri kar rahe ho right so right uh, how 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 do you think people can combat that how can youngsters prevent themselves from being bullying and at the same time save themselves from these events that could eventually cause cause them or feel depressed so i have had the opportunity to obviously talk to a lot of psychologists on this issue as well and i've done my own research isme ek cheez pata hai kya hoti hai social media pe abhi sabse zyada kya chal raha hai it's reels right log reels ko scroll karte hain reels kya hai 8 to 10 second high adrenaline content it is meant to keep you glued to that phone for as long as possible right every content creator is trying to hold you to that reel for as long as possible तो आपने एक और अब एल्गोरिदम इज ऑल्सो लर्निंग एल्गोरिदम इज इवॉल्विंग उसे पता है आपको क्या पसंद है इट विल थ्रो दैट कंटेंट टू यू और आपको आदत पड़ गई है कॉन्स्टेंटली गेटिंग दैट डोपोमीन फिक्स राइट 
यू आर मैं किसका एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ मैंने अभी बहुत सारी जगह ये नोटिस किया मैं जैसे कभी रेस्टोरेंट गया किसी कैफे गया जो छोटे बच्चे हैं ना पेरेंट्स उनको खाना खिलाते वक्त उनके हाथ में फोन दे देते हैं और छोटे छोटे बच्चे वो रील्स स्क्रोल कर रहे हैं बिकॉज पेरेंट्स के लिए वो इजी चीज हो गई है कि अच्छा ठीक है रील्स स्क्रोल कर रहे हैं एटलीस्ट इतनी देर ही चुप रहेगा या फिर पेरेंट्स अगर कोई एक्टिविटी कर रहे हैं उन्होंने बच्चों को फोन दे दिया कि आप फोन देख लो इतनी देर चलो हमें डिस्टर्ब नहीं करेगा उससे हो ये रहा है कि हमारा ब्रेन इट्स गेटिंग एडिक्टेड टू दैट क्विक डोपामीन फिक्स अब रियल लाइफ में तो पॉसिबल ही नहीं है रियल लाइफ इट्स नॉट एज हाई इंटेंसिटी एज अ रियल माइट बी राइट रियल लाइफ में आपको हर एट और जब वो चीज आपके सामने से चली जाती है देन ऑब्वियसली यू हैव दैट मोमेंट ऑफ दैट क्रैश कि यार अब तो मेरे को एकदम से वो एक्साइटमेंट नहीं मिल रही है विच इज नॉट सो डिसिमिलर टू बींग एडिक्टेड टू अ ड्रग देर आर ऑफ देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ स्टडीज आउट देर विच आर सेंग दैट लाइक फॉर किड्स दिस इज मोर एडिक्टिव दैन कोकेन That and that is the reason because at the end of the day your brain is producing that chemical for you, right? It is giving you that dopamine, it is giving you that rush, and when you go through that crash, real life आपको इतनी interesting नहीं लग रही है, आपका focus भी नहीं आ पा रहा है, आपका focus भी बहुत छोटा हो गया, आपको अब आठ से दस second में पूरी story चाहिए। इसलिए if you look at even our movies now, जो पहले पुराने time की long format slow developing movies होती थी, वो भी नहीं बन रही अब। हर थोड़े देर में एक सीन में एक हुक चाहिए मूवी छोटी चाहिए हाई पैक मूवी चाहिए एक्शन एडवेंचर ड्रामा सब कुछ एक बारी में दिखा दो क्यों क्योंकि अटेंशन स्पैन ही इतना हो गया मैंने ऐसी ऐसी रील देखी जो 30 सेकंड्स में पूरी स्क्रिप्ट करके चले जाते हैं तो उसके बाद रियल लाइफ कहां अच्छी लगेगी एग्जैक्टली सो आई थिंक द बिगेस्ट थिंग इफ इफ पेरेंट्स आर वॉचिंग एंड इफ यूर एन एडल्ट आई थिंक द बिगेस्ट थिंग यू हैव टू डू इज Using your social media in a limited context के आपने target कर रखा है कि मैं इस particular reason की वजह से अपना social media देख रहा हूं और मैं ये नहीं कह रहा कि हर बार कुछ सीखने के लिए देखो आपको for example सिर्फ entertainment के लिए भी देखना है एक time fix कर लो ना क्या 20 मिनट entertainment देखूंगा उसके बाद नहीं देखूंगा but when you are constantly doom scrolling on your phone आप लगातार वो fix ले रहे हो आपने जैसे ही वो फोन रखा ऑब्वियसली यू गो इन दैट फेस ऑफ For lack of better words, depression. Like it is that feeling yeah. that life is mundane, right? So I think that is what social media is doing to us. And 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 to be very honest, Isilia, if you if you look at my content, none of my content is obviously I'm trying to plug myself here as well. <laughs> But my content is not short in nature. Like I try to keep it as long as possible, and I try to explain it in grave detail about what I'm trying to say. क्या ठीक है अगर किसी को आठ से दस सेकंड का फिक्स चाहिए उन्हें शायद नहीं मेरी बात पसंद आएगी बट एटलीस्ट अगर कोई पॉइंट बोल रहा हूं तो पूरी डिटेल में बोलो सो आई थिंक आई थिंक यू हैव टू बी वेरी इंटेलिजेंट अबाउट हाउ यू वील दिस सोशल मीडिया इफ यू गेट इनटू दिस हैबिट ऑफ डूम स्क्रोलिंग और अब तो एप्स भी बहुत सारी है इंस्टाग्राम बन गया यूट्यूब खोल लो यूट्यूब बन गया फेसबुक खोल लो अब तो टिकटॉक बैन हो गया इंडिया में वरना तो we saw how it spread like a virus <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so that that was the idea and even even on all these apps you'll see they're preparing short form content youtube pe shorts aa gaye hain facebook pe reels aa gaye hain because they they realize they realize this ke logo ko is because their business is you as long as you stay on their platform they get the money so their aim is to keep you there no matter what happens to you they don't care about our well being that they, they, they have a factory of 8 billion people right <laughs> you know this, this brings me to that statement where one of the i think i don't remember the name person kisne kaha tha he had a quote saying agar koi cheez tumhe free mein mil rahi hai koi bhi cheez agar tumhe free mein mil rahi hai to uska product tum ho so you're exactly. the product exactly something for free exactly. there's, ne- so there's nothing sitting, truly free yeah hmm. yeah so if you're sitting watching reels you are giving your attention when you give your attention algorithm learns about your behavior patterns it sees what you like what you don't like and then you might see ke bhai drill dekhne ke baad when you just go to any other thing after some time you'll start seeing ads which are very specific to what you are looking out for exactly so how, cookies you, know, these you have companies... cookies on internet that are learning exactly. about you absolutely exactly. main to isliye isliye 
मेरा एक ये मेरे से अगर कोई फॉर एग्जांपल पीपल हु आर डेटिंग इनिशियल डेटिंग फेज में होते हैं ना तो वैसे से कोई पूछता है कि हाउ डू वी नो अबाउट अ पर्सन लाइक हाउ डू वी फाइंड आउट अबाउट अ पर्सन मेरा टिप ही होता है उनको जस्ट आस्क देम टू शो देम देयर एफ ऑन इंस्टाग्राम उनका फॉर यू पेज देख लो और ऊपर से नीचे तक स्क्रोल कर लो आपको उनकी सारी पर्सनैलिटी पता चल जाएगी वेरी राइट एग्जैक्टली तो अगर दिस इज ऑल्सो ग्रेट टिप अगर आपको किसी की पर्सनालिटी के बारे में जानना है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो इफ देर रियल इफ देर फेक उनको बोलो फर्स्ट फोन चेक करने की जरूरत नहीं है उन्हें बोलो बस फॉर यू पेज लगा के दे दे अपना कि वॉट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट देर कंज्यूमिंग उससे पता चल जाएगा कि उनकी पर्सनैलिटी का है नो दैट्स दैट्स वेरी राइट बिकॉज आई आई नो दैट दैट कि जब भी मैं जाता हूं ऑनलाइन आई आई लुक एट माय फॉर यू पेज एंड इट इज ऑलवेज वेरी इन लाइन विद माय इंटरेस्ट सो एग्जैक्टली यू नो ऑल दीस कंपनीज आर वेरी स्मार्ट एंड आल्सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड पीपल दैट आर यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया राइट जो जो यंगस्टर्स जो सोशल मीडिया यूज कर रहे हैं दे आर अप अगेंस्ट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स मशीन लर्निंग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वो लोग बना रहे हैं ऐसा कंटेंट सो दैट दे कैन कीप यू हुक्ड ऑन टू देयर प्लेटफॉर्म एंड यू थिंक यू नॉट ओनली दैट कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स देम like yeah yeah oh, like why do why why video we don't need to they, yeah yeah hum nahi bach sakte is cheez se yaar hum bhi to yahi kar rahe hain like we're trying to we're exactly. trying to keep people we but but the idea is how you're bringing people in right what you're trying That's to do exactly uh, and maine for you page ke is liye baat kari like there was this person i i remember a friend of mine she said that i've met this guy uh who who's really nice he's he's he says he's a feminist he says that he doesn't believe in toxic masculinity he is anti patriarchy all the right things that you need to say on a first date right aur usne for you page dekha so it was all andrew tate top to bottom just andrew tate so main ka <laughs> so usi time samajh aa gaya ki what he is trying to do there right so that and that is the kind of weapon it is that is the kind of weapon it is right it is it it will keep you glued on to it so it is yeah like for a content creator it is about how you make that community and for a viewer it is about how you use it exactly exactly i think there is there is a good portion to it obviously some content i, I wouldn't say all content creators because i know there are a lot of content creators that are spreading some good information jo karni chahiye hmm. but the problem hmm. here is becoming the hook and unfortunately look at us like after this recording uh, obviously i am also going to create reels because i know that is what typically can bring people in but i think mm. the major challenge here uh, and especially for people that are listening to us would be that you know how consciously can, do you recognize ki bhai even though 30 seconds is satisfying we need to calm ourselves down and try to complete the entire duration 1 mm. minute 2 minutes 10 minutes like we should start working on it so that you know we don't chase cheap dopamine hits uh, and rather you know become more intellectual because when you actually have the ability to calm down your emotional intelligence will increase you will become more intelligent because then you will not blur out whatever you think you're going to think before you talk you're going to do your research that is what makes you smart and trust me i think next 10 years said it will be very difficult for us to find people that are actually smart and can finish what they actually started because aajkal ka jo jis tarike se hum log ka brain washing ho raha hai na the way we are getting hooked it's it's our fault obviously but because we don't know how to manage ourselves we don't know what should actually we be doing right so i want to ask you here since you are an influencer someone who wants to get control of their life again right say i am a youngster i know i've been watching a lot of content i'm not doing the right thing i'm not happy hmm. with my life i want to change my life hmm what can i start doing starting today that can make my life better first of all recognize that this is a legitimate addiction there is no other word for it bahut log jaise main bahut sare smokers ko janta hu jo har bar main bolta hai ki तेरे को सिगरेट एडिक्शन है क्या बोलते हैं कि यार जब मन आएगा तब छोड़ दूंगा लेकिन वो कभी नहीं छोड़ते है है ना सो रेकग्नाइज दैट दिस इज एन एडिक्शन एंड दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम राइट दैट इज स्टेप वन एंड स्टेप टू इज के ड्राफ्टिक चेंजेस लाने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है 
ड्रास्टिक जब भी आप जब भी आप बोलते हो कि मैं एकदम से सब चेंज कर दूंगा वो पॉसिबल नहीं होता है वो सस्टेनेबल भी नहीं होता है स्टार्ट विथ स्मॉल स्टेप्स वेरी वेरी टाइनी स्टेप्स कि यार अगर मैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अब तो हर स्मार्टफोन के अंदर स्क्रीन टाइम का वो आता है यार डेटा वीकली एनालिसिस मिलता है आपको कि आप कि, आपने कितना स्क्रीन टाइम दिया ठीक है अगर लेट से आपका स्क्रीन टाइम आ रहा है फाइव आवर्स सिक्स आवर्स आप बोलो कि पूरे हफ्ते में इसको वन आवर कम कर दूंगा इसको पांच घंटे कर दूंगा ठीक है मेक दैट टारगेट फिर उसको मैं साढ़े चार करूंगा फिर उसको मैं थ्री एंड हाफ करूंगा एंड थर्ड थिंग इज डू नॉट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड इफ यू रिलैक्स सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है कि जब भी हम जब भी हम इस चीज से निकल रहे होते हैं अगर किसी दिन हमने ज्यादा देख लिया हो जाता है यार कई बार तो क्या हार मान जाता है कि नहीं यार कोई बात नहीं नहीं हो रहा मुझसे छोड़ो ठीक है कोई बात नहीं स्टार्ट अगेन हो गया रिलैप्स फर्क नहीं पड़ता स्टार्ट अगेन आई थिंक दीज आर द थ्री मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स दैट विल बिल्ड योर फाउंडेशन टू देन क्योंकि अगर टाइम बचेगा नहीं तो आप कैसे कुछ प्रोडक्टिव कर पाओगे <laughs> जो exactly. मैंने बहुत पता है बहुत सारे लोग बोलते हैं कोई हॉबी ज्वाइन कर लो किसी और चीज में इंटरेस्ट दिखाने लगो आई थिंक दो ट्रीटिंग द सिम्टम्स फर्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी टू रिकग्नाइज द कॉज हॉबी करना कोई काम करना तभी हो पाएगा ना जब वो टाइम आप अपने लिए निकाल पाओगे द कॉज इज के आपके पास टाइम बच ही नहीं रहा है एंड अनदर थिंग इज के इट इज लगता रिलैक्सिंग है बट इट इज एक्चुअली वेरी टायरिंग फॉर योर ब्रेन आप कभी भी तीन चार पांच घंटे अगर लगातार फोन देख लेते हो यू विल रियलाइज यू आर नॉट प्रोडक्टिव फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द डे Your brain is tired. It's not. It's Very not being creative anymore, है ना? So I think those are the three steps. If you build on them, take baby steps, make sustainability, track your grown growth, and do not be disappointed if that doesn't happen immediately, right? I think these are the steps that are going to build your long-term foundation. I think those are the steps that have helped me, uh, and I think that could help other people as well. What are you? What are your views on that? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think these are the folks. I work with a lot of youngsters. Okay, these days, uh, and basically like a, like a life coach to get their life together, any challenges that they might be facing, plan their goals and, and so on. Right. And uh, this is precisely kind of things that I talk to them about. Right. कि भाई ऐसा मत बोलो कि मैं रातों रात दिन change हो जाऊँगा ऐसा था मैं ऐसा बन जाऊँगा भाई वो नहीं होने वाला. Like like calm yourself down. Start with habits like there's a very good book called as uh, atomic habits right and that mm. atomic habit books actually talks about something called as keystone habits and that keystone right. habits is precisely what you were talking about see that says ki bhai tum aise habits rakho jo tum sustain kar sako aur wo a good habit will give birth to a lot of other good habits like Absolutely. i know that has happened with me that's how my life changed so working on that is very important i think there are a couple of other things that possibly youngsters can start doing that could help them uh, get their life together is i think the first thing is to not touch your phone as soon as you wake up that's very important it's something that should be said that's very stones. important absolutely i agree at 100% at least for the first yeah at least for the one or the first two hours one, one person should never touch their phones because the moment you touch a phone then you're bombarded with people uh, trying to get in touch and also you, before you know, going to bed i believe right people. before going to bed yeah Exactly. Like you shouldn't touch it before going to bed yeah. as well. I think, सोने जाने से दो घंटा पहले leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah, leave your brain some time, some capacity to think, reflect on what has happened for the day, rather than trying to you know constantly. Because the moment you touch your phone, no, it's like you opening yourself to thousands of people that want your time and attention and your money also. I mean, like you don't even recognize it, but they do. But that's how crazy it is. So I think first is never go ahead uh, and touch your phone. I think a couple of other things could be. start i think one thing that has helped me calm down a lot and made me uh, more ca- calmer and reflective is my ability to read now right so i read books every single day i have a habit of mm. as soon as i wake up i ensure that i am not watching obviously if my if i'm not touching my phone for the first one hour uh, and also ensuring that as soon as i wake up i'll do my prayers i'll meditate i'll breathe and then i'll read a book so at least my first one hour is the most sacred and this is important because there are studies that actually indicate that as soon as we wake up right our brains are at the highest frequency like alphas and and gammas that's the precise time for us to actually read and study i think that these two things are very important like have good habits as soon as you wake up and also do not touch your phone 
uh, I think there are a lot of other areas that pe- person should start or focusing on. But I think what you said plus adding these two things can actually help people get onto that right track so that कल जाके ना they'll be happy with regards to what they are doing. Absolutely. And or मैं मेरा इसी में ये रहता है कि एक हर एक कोई जो बोलता है कि यार पता नहीं काम करेगा या नहीं करेगा. I don't know if it will work out for me. दो तीन महीने try करके देखो. I can guarantee you इससे नुकसान कुछ नहीं होगा. That much I can ensure. I can I can I can vouch for it. I can put my own stamp on it कि इससे नुकसान कुछ नहीं होगा. अगर तीन महीने में आपको नहीं लग रहा है काम कर रहा है, then okay maybe realize. Worst case scenario आपकी life में तीन महीने आपने कुछ और try करके देख लिया. That is the worst case scenario. And as far as other scenarios goes, I think this is one of the best worst case scenarios. So. <laughs> now help us understand uh said with regards to with regards to what you're currently doing today right are you still uh are you going to go to australia again start working there or uh, are you just focusing on content creation like w- what are you doing what are your future plans well now that i've been lucky enough to reach a sort of settled secure phase of my life uh, i am fulfilling some of my dreams uh, that i've always had uh, so Uh, firstly is i'm writing a book uh, about nice. a journey it's a story i don't i don't want to give too much away i don't i want it to be a little bit of a surprise but it is it it is a book that's going to help people to realize what are the struggles one can go through uh, when they go and study abroad right so nice i think it's going that i think that's something that's going to come out very soon hopefully touch wood uh, so touch wood. there's that then secondly is i'm working on starting my own business as well uh so that is also in the pipeline i'm i'm working on it because yeah like i think and obviously the next is content creation i'm focusing uh, and i'm putting a lot of time uh, into this as well so i think these are the three things that i can do because obviously with my permanent residency with my work experience i can now go back to australia any time and find a good paying job right but if i am teaching exactly. people to break that cycle if i am teaching people to try new things if i am teaching people to get that growth mindset <laughs> uh, i might try that on myself as well you know uh, otherwise it be a little hypocritical exactly. if i am not doing it nice. myself so i think i'm going to devote nice. the next at least year on that and i'm very excited uh, for this stage of my life as well nice awesome i mean that these are some really interesting uh, ventures that you're getting into writing a book uh, starting your own business and obviously i think i'm sure said the kind of people i know the kind of content they create the kind of words they they utter kind of define and it gives you an insight into their mindset right ki bhai ye log kaisa soch rahe hain can they actually Absolutely. do it and then your your words that you you you've used throughout this conversation the content that is out there i think you can achieve way more than what you currently have i'm sure your business your books will do great and wonders uh, as soon as a book is out let me know i will push it out to my audience because i want people to you know learn from people that are actually real and want to have a positive impact i think that is more important because there are many people that want to create a life for themselves which i know is fine you, you there's nothing wrong in that but sometimes i feel they lose the the path where they need to be going like what was the intention like why did you even start right like intention has to be really right and and i and i like Absolutely. your positive uh, intention that you started off with and uh, i'm sure you know a lot of people will find value i think more and more content creators like you come out and push this kind of content it would help our youth uh, become smarter become more intelligent because our youth is what will define uh, our future uh, when it comes to india as well so it's important that all of us come together do what we can with the best of our abilities and rest people are smart enough they would realize the youngsters would realize what are those things that is humming them what are those things that they should be doing that will actually turn their lives around and very important uh, what you okay. mentioned over there as well uh, for india uh, in terms is that what i've recognized that india has a unique opportunity right now where everything is so readily available uh, 
छोटी छोटी चीजें जो बाहर आपको स्ट्रग में जेनुअनली बता रहा हूँ छोटी छोटी चीजें जो आपको बाहर एज अ स्ट्रगल दिखेंगी वो यहाँ पर बहुत रेडी अवेलेबल है लाइक इफ यूर इफ यूर इफ यूर डूइंग स्टार्टअप देर आर लॉट ऑफ टूल्स अवेलेबल फॉर यू दिस चीप लेबर अवेलेबल फॉर यू एज वेल राइट फॉर योर ओन पर्सनल हेल्थ फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक आई नोटिस जैसे बाहर में जाता था मेरी पर्सनल हेल्थ बहुत इम्पैक्ट होती थी बिकॉज इंग्रीडियंट्स आर वेरी कॉस्टली बट यहाँ पे आके जैसे ऑब्वियसली मैंने बोला कि यार मेरी पर्सनल हेल्थ को आई आई नीड टू लुक आफ्टर दैट एज वेल सो आई आई शेयर दैट विद माई मॉम और मॉम ने कुछ गार्डन से आयुर्वेदिक जड़ी बूटियां निकाली एंड शी स्टार्टेड मेकिंग ऑफ दीज कंकॉक्शन फॉर माई सेल्फ एंड आई नो दे आर इम्पैक्टफुल बिकॉज दे आर वर्किंग ऑन मी राइट सो दीज आर द स्मॉल अपॉर्चुनिटीज आई थिंक आई थिंक द फ्यूचर फॉर इंडिया एंड द यूथ ऑफ इंडिया इज रियली रियली ब्राइट एज लॉन्ग एज दे रियलाइज दैट द अपॉर्चुनिटी इज देयर फॉर दैम Hmm. Correct. Now, before we wrap, Sid, I want to ask you two questions. Uh, the number hmm. one question being the youngsters who want to probably learn, change their lives around, read something, develop this habit. Uh, if there are some books that you would recommend that you think would really help them grow, personally, professionally, mentally, any books which are probably your favorites as well that you would like to suggest. Koi si bhi. top 2 3 books that comes to your mind i think a book that really made a difference for me number 1 would be 12 rules about life that's by dr jordan peterson uh, he is a very very renowned psychiatrist uh, i know in 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 terms of social media some of her views some of his views are controversial uh, but trust me this book does not deal with his political views it's it's more about our own neurology and it talks about building simple habits right uh, another personal book of mine i think it's very very famous it's called sapien it talks about it talks about chaos theory it talks about basically evolution of humanity in general so it it teaches you ke hum unconsciously aise kaun kaun se kaam karte hain jo hame bhi nahi pata hai hamari habits ho chuke hain it is it is so so i think that is also very powerful book i think like obviously if i think i can think of a few more but i think these are the top two books to get you started another one yes of course another one would be the 5 am club uh, it talks about robin sharma you know it, it, it yeah it, it it is it is talking about that same sacred hour in the morning that you're talking about that time between 5 to 6 uh, how it is so vibrant how, and what and what transformative powers it has for you so i think if you if you go by these three books i i i, I genuinely feel uh, that will bring a positive impact in your life nice i have read the first two books i have read 12 rules uh, by jordan peterson i have read his other book as well that had i think for chaos i, I don't remember the exact yeah, name yeah of course uh, yeah i yeah. read sapiens yeah i have read sapiens amazing book i have read his other book as well 21 lessons for the 21st century i think that that author also is amazing Uh, yeah. I've not read Robin Sharma's book 5 AM Club because I am someone who never wakes up at 5 AM. My my day begins <laughs> at 12 PM and 1 AM, 1 PM in the afternoon because I'm more like a night owl. I work right. in the nights. Uh, but but that's that's an interesting book. But yeah, I so kind of understand that logic. It's about having that, that sacred hour. Yeah, absolutely. It's mm. about having that first hour after you wake up. Basically, that's what the book is trying to promote. How to constructively okay. use that one hour after you wake up. Interesting, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, <laughs> and one last question was: sure. people that liked our conversation today, people that want to know more about you, that might want to reach out to you, what are some ways they can reach out to you? Well, one thing that I've always uh, had as a habit since I have started my own social media, uh, which is Sit Speak Official. is i respond to all the dms not some i respond i respond to all the dms that i get and it's not just me giving them a thumbs up if people share their problems with me i give i try and give them genuine solutions other thing that i other things that i do is on my broadcast channel a lot of people when they share their own problems i give them like i'll record a message and i'll put that out as a solution and a lot of my live sessions that i do on my social media as well is people just pumping those questions out and me answering them uh so i think these are the three things that i've done obviously there's other things in pipeline soon i'll i'm going to plan a meet and greet as well uh, i'm going to try and hold some uh, sessions where i can talk to people some live sessions as well uh 
uh, but that's later in the future but i think these are the three ways where i'm trying to that's how i'm trying to bring a response and also my content that i'm producing is motivated by what people send me as well like it's it's, it's about mm-hmm. what people usually because because i've been lucky enough to have such a base such a strong base now such a loyal base now that what they send is what i make my content on as well like i respond to that mm-hmm. so yeah i i i i 100% stand by what i do <laughs> perfect and i'll add in all those uh, uh, social links so that people can easily find you uh, on the description section of our podcast episode but there is one other thing that comes to my mind before i let you go said and that is uh this question because this is something that i think i should ask start asking uh, i don't ask but i think there's something which is interesting sure i'm um, nervous <laughs> how would you like to be remembered wow how would i like to be remembered uh just someone who gave it his all uh lived his day to the fullest and spread positivity wherever he went nice love Short it and simple love it yes uh said thank you so much for taking your time out and uh, joining us on the growth mindset podcast it was an absolute honor to have you here it was an absolute pleasure thank you so much for having me